The government has helped, I think it's around 250,000, 300,000 people actually move out. And a lot of these people are going back to their home villages or hometowns uh, or staying with friends and family outside. Others have uh, gone into spontaneous settlements, hundreds of them around, around town. And those will have to be regularized. Uh, basic services will, will have to be provided. And they're, they're plans that are being undertaken now under the uh, uh, direction of the United Nations with all of the partners. Uh, going so, uh, and then there's the people that are staying so uh, and, and doing it in their in their areas uh, of their homes or either in their homes or around their homes, uh, and and the process of, of reconstruction is really already underway. I mean, people are trying to fix up as best they can either uh, where they temporarily moved to uh, or where they where their homes were and trying to make them uh, habitable. Uh, so all of this is happening at the same time. So will we be now? Will there be a call for more of these plastic sheetings, or I, we don't see uh, an immediate need to call for more because we have so many available right now. That the, the question is just being able to get them distributed. Um, so there's there's thousands and thousands and thousands of rolls of, of plastic sheeting, but this will be not the only solution. This will be done in, co in complement with uh, local materials, uh, frames, doors, things that already exist. Tents, I think, have their place. Uh, but if you uh, if you uniquely have a plan that's that relies only on tents, it tends to retard the overall process of, of, uh, of reconstruction uh, of people where they either where they are or where they need to be ultimately. So